Sheep Goats back in Junkyard Truck, and we are off to do some things today, even though I don't know what time it is, and I'm not sure it's a smart idea, but I think we are going to try to find the tobacco field, and I'm not sure... I think Was my pointer just on screen? That's a little awkward. Okay, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I think it's over that way. <laughs> okay, so according to uh, the chat, if you look where the anvil is on the map there, kind of dead center in the map, and then you look at that uh, tower, there it's kind of in that open space over there, according to the comment section. Now, the, oh, Jesus, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Now, this is after I asked them not to tell me <laughs> where it was, but I got this junk to drop off first, so I think I'll do that and probably grab some fuel on the way by, and then we got to go pick up tobacco collection things. So, at least that's how I think it works. Oh, this thing. There we go. Okay, actually, I got full fuel, so we're fine there. So, I think we will... Don't hit the building, please. I think we'll just go do all this at once. Let's see if we can't uh, get the the, the, the the tobacco and see what's going on. You know what? I'm a big fan. I quit smoking years ago, a couple years back, and I'll tell you, uh, I miss it. <laughs> I would never suggest any. I've said this before. I never suggest anyone smokes. I'm just saying my own personal experiences. I enjoyed it, and it sucks that I can't do it, but it is very bad for you, and don't ever touch tobacco. Never get started with nicotine, man. That stuff is terrible. It gets you hooked. It's awful, and, you know, now that studies are showing vaping isn't a, a whole lot better for you, you know, it's like the whole nicotine thing is just a terrible idea. All right, let's see here. Not that it's any of my business. You do what you want, but I'm just saying, you know, from my own personal experience, it's a horrible thing to have to stop using. <laughs> okay, you know what? Know what it is, though. If you are a smoker and you want to quit, it's three days. If you can get through the first three days, you have about a, like about a 50% better chance of quitting. So the first three days are terrible. And uh, not a sponsor, but Nicorette Quick Mist worked great for me. That's all I'm saying. All right, so let's uh, let's go drop this off. And we gotta get tobacco crates, I think. I'm not sure how the tobacco works. I've never been. I've never even seen it. anybody do it? So I don't know. Sometimes I will come and stumble across another junkyard truck video, and I'll be like, "Oh, what's this?" And I'll watch it for a second. But I've never seen the tobacco even done. So uh, I think we're good for fuel. Let's go drop this junk off first. Whoa! More junk! Well, that's good, because we need the money. Dude, stop. Okay. Okay, let me... Dude, let me out. Let me... How, how do we... Oh, eggs. X to exit the vehicle. It's been a few days. Leave me alone. All right, let's get this in here like this. Uh, I like it. That works. All right. It sounds like it struggles to start. I love it. It's just this piece of crap truck. Even though I've rebuilt the engine, it's still like... It's still like... Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to start right now. So I think it's time to start exploring off the roadways. Um, there's got to be other stuff I've missed here on the map somewhere. But I think this is a good place to start. I think doing the tobacco, I think, is the last thing I really am supposed to do. I still want to upgrade the V8. I still want to build the V8, but I'm going to need money to do it. And tobacco is a definite way to, to do money, uh, I think. Although I'm not sure who you sell it to. It's never come up. Let me see here. Okay. Well, this is the junkyard place. and we'll Sometimes there's junk right here. So I always take a little cruise because if I can just walk over and get it and not have to think about it too much, even better. Okay. Let's stop here. We'll get rid of these. Okay. There's one. And then this one here. Okay. Perfect. And drop you. All right. That should be a couple hundred bucks. I don't like being this low on money. There you go. Thanks, bud. What do we got? Boom. 200 bucks. Look at that. See, any, see, it's not always easy to see. Sometimes you can, like, pick it out, but then the grass gets in the way and it's a whole thing. Anyway, so we'll go. You know, people did not. People, someone in the comments got really upset that I multicolored my truck and said, if you're just going to do that. They should make it classy. You know what I don't find? I know he said I need a black hood. Let me tell you something, bud. You know what's not classy? Doing the exact same thing as everybody else is not classy. A black hood is boring and stupid, and I would never do it. Not in a million years. <laughs> it's just boring. <clears throat> Half the cars out there that think they're tough guy cars have a black hood, and it does not make them look tougher. It just makes them look like they're copying somebody else. Ugh. 
All right, here we go. And then it's like, oh, I can put a black hood on a white truck. It looks so cool. It's like, no, no, it wouldn't. It would look like every other truck on the freaking road half the time. All right, so I'm going to go back here and get tobacco stuff. I just I always want to go down to the river. Whoa! Oof. Okay, how's my fuel doing? Not bad. We're all right. Okay. So I think they sell tobacco crates over here. You know, while I'm here, I might grab the... Uh, the shine crates, because I think I'm out of them. Oh, tobacco crates are four bucks. That's not bad. Oh, I still got that <laughs> differential back there. Whoops. You know, maybe I'll come back for those, because I'm going to... I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to need, but I'm going to grab all of them. Because they're only four bucks a piece. And bring them all with me to wherever this place is. And then I can just leave them there. And then I can come back and get these, because I want to... I think my shine's been running long enough, and I want to do another shine. Which everybody argues about the amount. Even the one guy told me, you know, uh, how wrong I was when I actually got the recipe from the developer. But everybody tells me I'm wrong. So I'm going to go with um, eight cornmeal, two sugar, one yeast from now on, I think. Uh, which, speaking of which, I think I can just do that, like, right now. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, let's see. One of these has got stuff in it, and the other one does not. So let's just check. Okay, yep, we're just gonna... You know, maybe I'll fuel up while I'm here. Now, someone also said I might be able to get this other thing a shine out by bopping it with something. That's the empty one? I think that's the empty one. Yeah, I think that's empty. And this one was the... This one's still bubbling. So, I think it's been a day. So let's... Uh, pop you off and we'll get all the, the the cornmeal and the sugar so we need one two three four five six seven eight that's all those two of these and then one yeast and then we'll buy all that hi how are you um i'm gonna get fuel while i'm here too hang on a sec all right let's just uh grab this and then oh no it's doing that thing again I think we're good. <laughs> Eight bucks. Jeez. Okay. Close that, please. And then I'm going to go pay for everything all at once. 42 bucks. Not bad. Okay. Let's get this out here. And pop. Whoa. Okay. I think that's all of it. All right. So we'll drop all this in here. All right. Here we go. All in. I don't care which order it goes in. in. I don't think that matters. So we're going to put that in. Oh, get in there. Thank you. Oh, thanks, guy. Okay. Now, this one's going to take longer to do because it just got started and the other one's still working. I think that's, I think you only need to like do it for like a moment, which is nice. Okay. Let me see. On you go and take this. So that one's still bubbling. I'll put this one over here with it. There we go. All right. You guys bubble away and I'll come back for you. Now, we got fuel. We got... Oh, we're hungry. Uh, can we just stop for a second, please? No, we're not going to stop, are we? Damn it. <sighs> Crap. Okay, I just, now I need... Hi, I'm back! <laughs> Thanks, Shathid. All right, we're going to eat the can and everything. All right, so now we got to check the map here. So, we're here. I think it's directly to our right. So, that's where we're going to go. Um, according, to, again, to the comment section. So directly to the right is not looking friendly, but you know what? We got the world's most powerful truck. Ah, even in two-wheel drive. <laughs> I don't know where to find this thing. I just know it's around here somewhere. According again to the comments. Unless, you know, sometimes the comments tries to make you make mistakes. Ooh, this does not look like a fancy fun time. So there's probably a path, but I don't know where that path is so we're gonna well i know there's a path kind of along beside it see i'm gonna put four wheel drive on now and we're going to oh can we squeeze through these between these trees nope okay i have accidentally gone into reverse too hard as one does and we are now oh no 
Okay, this is all right. This is all right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, okay. Okay, where are we on the map is my question. As I'm sliding down a hill. I don't know why the tobacco farm would not be on a road. This is why I'm thinking people are bullcrapping me. Because I just don't see why it wouldn't be... Like, there's that road there. I'm sure it is off a road, and I'm just taking the super hard way. <laughs> but that's just normal for me, so I'm fine with that. Okay, whoa, what's this? Okay, yeah, so it's like straight ahead from here, I'm told. Oh, God. Okay, let's go this way down the trail and see if we can't find a way up, because... I think it's, like I said, I think it's to the left. Is there, is there a path up this way somewhere? I don't know. Ooh. Now, Books actually grew up in tobacco country, so maybe she knows. They need a lot of water, I know that. Okay. I don't know why you'd have to illegally grow tobacco in the middle of nowhere, but... So this looks like a, a path. Wait a minute, I hear water. Oh, it's raining, okay. Ugh. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, here it is. Is this it? This has gotta be it, right? How do you... Whoop, okay, stop truck. No. Okay, stop the truck. Okay. How does... Growth hydrated. <gasps> we need the water truck, don't we? Now, there's a path... Back that way. And also... Hmm... Yeah, there's, there's a path back here. Okay, maybe we should follow this road. This isn't on the map. At least it doesn't appear to be on the map. So let's... Uh, I think we're going to need the water trailer. And we got to fill the water trailer up somewhere completely different. But we can leave the boxes here at least. Okay, well... Uh, these can at least stay here until we need them. Because we don't need them where we're going. Where we're going, we don't need roads. So I think we're going to need that water trailer that I had. Which I thought was for the um, shine uh, business, but it is not. Alright, let's, uh, let's go down here and see where this goes. We can kind of get an idea of where it comes out. And then we can find it by taking a road or something, maybe? As opposed to... Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, 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 yep, yep, yep. Oh. Well, where's this, then? Wait a minute. This is the backside of the... Is this the backside of the mine? Where am I? What? Where the heck am I? This is not the back side of the mine. <laughs> just just for reference. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is kind of a road, but... Where does this come out at? I don't think I've ever been down here. Because if we can find at least where it comes out, at least we can figure out how to get there. Yeah, it's not hard. It's not, a, it's not a hard road. It's just annoying. Okay, where? Okay, let's see. Oof. There we go. Oh goodness! What? This is this is a bit. Oof, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna two wheel it here for a second. Okay, is this through like a riverbed? What is this? Uh. 
Getting through there with the trailer may be a problem. Where am I? Like, seriously. Okay, I'm down by the river. All right, so let's take a look here. So this is, oh, okay, okay. I know where I am now, sort of. Yeah, I know where this kind of is. Now the real question is, can I even get up this? Oh, I can. Oof. New tires have helped quite a bit in the deeper stuff. All right, okay, we're just cruising on up here. What is this? This is power lines. What? Wow, this is this is a this is a long ways to go for tobacco. This better be worth a ton of money. Oh goodness sakes. Okay, all right. I think it's just about nighttime, so maybe it'll be worth going home. Getting up in the whoa. Holy sugar. It's a very straight up a hill kind of moment here. Oh, here we go. Okay. We're home again. Wonder how I'm doing. Oh, it doesn't matter right now. Okay, so let's go home. I can't turn. Oof, just, oh, yeah, I keep forgetting these tires are no good on the road. The engine's running a bit hot. Does anybody else notice this? I feel like it's running really hot. Is the is the radiator leaking or something? Okay, well, let's go grab the trailer, which is Oh no, where was that again? It's down at the end of that. Okay, so the next next road yeah, it feels like it's running really hot. Look at it. It's like right on the edge of overheating. But as long as it's not overheating, it shouldn't be a problem. You know what the problem is, is people got used to those dummy lights in the 90s. And the dummy lights were like... Uh, they would just like go to halfway and stay there unless the thing overheated. It wasn't even a gauge. It was just a kind of an on-off thing. If it started to overheat, it would... Uh, it would it would show it and so people got used to that instead of an actual heat gauge it actually registers the proper temperature <laughs> all right let me see here Ugh. there we go i think i think this is the right way if we just follow this all the way to the back because i'm pretty sure that's where i left the trailer i think because i think we got to go find the there's a water uh thing there that like a spout that sticks out of the ground where I found the trailer, like a big pipe. And I think if we go get that, we can, uh... Whoa, there we go. Yeah, I might paint the truck when I get home, too. Who knows? Okay, oh, oh. Because nobody can agree on a color specific, so... Oh, this is such a... This is such a bit of work, you know? Like, don't have to drive this far every time you're doing stuff like this. All right, well, you know, it's just part of the part of the game. Uh, I wonder how often you got to water the plants, too. Like, it said their hydration level was zero. So I'm just wondering how often you got to hydrate those plants as well. Like, do I got to go every day and water them, or is it just a once-in-a-while thing? Geez, I'm making it bad down here in two-wheel drive. <laughs> like... It's not going as fast as it does in four, but just wind out the engine constantly. Here we go. Excellent. There we go. Let's see. No, I left the trailer at home. It's behind my house. God damn it. <laughs> well, poop. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, there's one the other thing I wanted to do anyway. So I think, though, for the sake of making... Oh, no. Oh, no. I keep doing this. Making life a bit easier. 
on myself. I'm just going to call up my friend here and say, transport me in my truck to town. Boom. Nice. Okay. Perfect. It cost me 50 bucks, but I don't have to do all the driving. So, uh, you know, it's worth it as far as I'm concerned. I forgot. I dragged it all the way home and I found that I didn't need it. But what I do need is fuel. And also, I want to try to get that thing out of the ground. At some point. Stop it. Stop it. Now, I always hope I can stop it and leave it idling, but it just doesn't want to stay stopped. All right, let me see here. Open you up. Open you up. There we go. Now, there's one other thing somebody told me to try. I think it was Danny DeCare, actually. Told me to... Come on. Well, I'm sure other people said it too, but he's the one who, who stands out in the comments because he's been around for a thousand years. I still can't pick this up, right? Right. But what I might be able to do is buy a case of beer. Beer? Oh, there it is. Beer. Sweet. Give me that. Oh, I'm already drinking it. I haven't paid for it yet. Sorry. And then use the beer to knock this out. Ugh. Oh, it fell right over. It's not pick upable. <laughs> That's the thing. It just, I can move it around, but it won't let me pick it up. See, like I'm hitting the buttons on it and it doesn't let me pick it up. So I think that's just a, a lost cause that. Uh, okay, that's that's a flashlight. Eh, get in there. All right, so we got to go and we get the trailer. So we'll do that and we'll have a sleep. Why did my door open back up? All right, we'll go home, have a sleep. Uh, grab the trailer and then we got to figure out where the water part was. Uh, I don't know exactly where it was. I know there's a couple of valves kicking around. And so I got to go figure out which valve is which. Because I think one of them you can pull underneath and it drops water on it. So I'm wondering if I should go find, bring the trailer to like town and then uh, leave it in town and go exploring to go find it. Because well, I probably turned my lights on now that I'm out here. There we go. <laughs> because if I try to drag the trailer everywhere, it might be, you know what? I'm going to drag the trailer everywhere. Screw it. Can't stop me. I'm a good old boy. I know this works. Just a good old boy. Someone actually asked me because I sang that song from Annie the other day. I could sing more show tunes. And I was thinking, oh, I could sing like. You know, Les Mis or something. <laughs> I dreamed a dream of times gone by. No, it's terrible. Nobody wants to hear that right now. All right, let me see. Was this just a weird request? Oh, you should sing more show tunes, they say. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's, that's okay. Sure, bud. Let's go have a little sleep and we'll hook up the trailer and we'll uh, we'll go from there. <sighs> oh, God, it's just so much. There's a picture frame. Mm. Should we paint the truck something different? Ooh, who knows? Who knows? Oh. <sighs> Let's go with a pure white truck. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, you're fools. <laughs> you thought I was going to go with the pure white. What's this? What, is this gray? That's gray, is it not? What color is this? Ooh. Look at the damage I've done to this thing. Well, that's fine. Oh, God, here we go. Let's paint it the most boring color possible. Oh, I left the gas tank open. There you go. I like how these paints don't run out. There we go. Oh, Jesus, look how much damage I did to that. Oh, my God. Okay. God, that's the most boring, ugly color ever. You know what we need, though? We need, like, one yellow door to make it look like we've just fixed it up. And we're still looking, trying to get that door painted. Or we need to get the appropriate colored door. So... Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm going to go take the water thing, which is right now, and we're going to go down and fill it up, I think. But we're going to have to come around this side, and the car is in the way. So let's get the car moved. This thing does not like to start. Oh, nice. 
So is half its fuel, though. That's good. I think it gets a little better gas mileage in the truck. And stop. Perfect. Okay, all the doors are opening on me, but that's all right. Jesus, look at the smoke. Got some bad rings there, bud? All right, let me see here. Or valve guides? Maybe we got bad valve guides? All right, here, let's see. It'd be nice to be able to fix up the car, but for shorter trips that don't require the truck. Getting this thing to, like, ease into something now that I got these really short gears in it is not as easy as it sounds. Ugh. Come on, buddy. Oh, is it on? Or is it just pretending it's on? Let's, pre let's say it's on. Oh, now you don't want to start, you dink. There. Oh, it's on. Nice. Okay, so now we got to go find this, this hose thing. Ah. Just stay back there, bud. I'll try to take it easy. As you can tell by the front end of my truck, I've been doing it all day. Okay, so this is going to be... First of all, it's raining constantly in this game, which is fine. I have no problem with that. But I'm starting to think it takes place in England. Okay, let me see here. What? I don't want to go too fast with the trailer because I'm not sure how squirrely that'll get, but... Better safe than sorry, I guess. A little, little jump there, a little front end pull. We're good. Ow, God, the brakes seem better. Maybe it's these tires. Yeah, the brakes seem way better with these tires on it. All right, let me see here. Up and at them. Okay. Oh, man, everything's coming up Millhouse today. Okay. I wonder if there's any plans to expand the map or if this is all it's ever going to be. Not that it's small or anything. I'm not suggesting that. I just wonder if there's plans to do other maps or things. Because I think it'd be cool to do, uh, and bear with me here, if you had a similar setup, but it was like a desert, so it's like a Baja kind of map. Do all Ford Raptor type stuff, you know? Well, baja where you're going like high speed over the desert, like a pre-runner. I think that'd be kind of cool. Or am, I, or, I, or am I completely wrong here? I just think that would be a riot. If you've ever been to the desert and you've ever done pre-run, no, I've never done it in a desert. But I have done it in a truck that does it in the sand, and it was, uh, it's, it's, it's a riot. High speed over stuff that you shouldn't be going high speed over? Mwah! Chef's kiss, baby. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's, you, I'm always gonna be angry at that moonshine, to the day I die. It just hates me for some reason. Happens in all my car games. One piece of stuff gets left behind, and it just gets stuck. And then, like, the battery in my summer car. You know, one person, every time I talk about how my summer car is like my favorite series. There's always one person. It's the same person always comments. No, I didn't really like that one. Shut up. It was my favorite. Get over it. I'm just <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. But yeah, like I always just, I just love doing that. They always have to comment when I say it in a video. Like, yeah, I didn't really I couldn't get into that one. It's like, okay, you know what? Stop. I don't care if you couldn't get into it. It was my favorite. That's what I'm saying. It's my favorite. Is it down here? Is this Is this what is this what I want? Mm, this doesn't feel right. Okay, is it is it down there? Okay, there is a pipe down there, but I think it's too low to be the one. Let's go on foot. I think it's too low to be the right pipe. Yeah, I don't think this is the right one. Yeah, okay, but it's a similar thing to this. I can I can apparently touch that, but not much. Ah, I'm stuck in the mud. There we go. So it's not that pipe. But again, I think it's one of these things where you know it would be nice if you could put markers on the map. Truck? truck oh there you are so it's definitely not down here so i'm not sure i'm gonna get out of here now that i'm part way down here but uh trailer do you want to okay just back it up slightly uh... there we go all right let's get up out of here now is there another half down this way I know I think it was where I found the trailer let me just get into the map here which I think is down by that lake down there I think so let's go down this road oh, I'm so confused right now um 
All right, so let's, yeah, you know what? Let's go down and follow, get to the lakes. We'll go to the lakes. We'll see how that goes. All right. It may be down by the lake. I think it's where I found the trailer possibly, but I should have left a trailer there when I didn't need it, but I'm obsessed with collecting things that don't belong to me. So here we are. Ugh, this is just my luck. I just steal stuff. This is what happens when you're a thief. This is exactly what happens. You steal people's water trailers and then you don't know where they, oh, what's that? What's that down there? Hold on. Um, can we stop this here? Is that possible without having a problem? What is this path? Oh, this is like a rock crawling thing. Okay, well, no. <laughs> we do not have a truck that'll do that right now. All right, well, it might. I don't know. Uh, there we go. Okay, let me see. Oh, yeah, a little bridge, little bridge. That's cool. I like little bridges. They keep me from falling into rivers and whatnot. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, and I probably don't, but I do have a tendency to not get things correct. And that's my favorite part about playing video games is that everybody always thinks I'm wrong and then I get to end up being right and it's glorious. All right, let me see. Okay, where am I on the map now? Okay, we're coming up to the river or the lake. So, is this still on? Pfft, geez, I'm surprised. That's a weird hitch too. I've never seen uh, too many hitches like that. It's like a pin hitch or something. Okay, let me see here. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh. No, I think it's the other lake, possibly. But I think we can make. I think if we're a little bit careful, we can just follow along here. I'm gonna put four-wheel drive on, just to be a little bit on the safe side. Because what I like to do is find stuff like this, right? And then, then go back uh, up the roads that take you there and then figure out where they come out at. I find that's just a bit, what's that? Oh, just a bit easier to do than trying to find the proper road to go down to begin with. Now we should be crossing a, a road here at some point. Oh geez, we're in a thick part of the forest here. I can't see. Okay, there we go. What's that? Is that the river? That is, okay. Okay, here's the road. Yeah, yeah, okay, so far so good. And then, I think it might be over here. We'll, we'll go check. We don't want to get too deep in the water here. Because the, the video game seems to enjoy hydrolocking your engine. When you're not careful. Okay, where am I? Am I on a river or a lake? Oh yeah, this is a lake. Or a pond or whatever you want to call this. A tiny lake. Okay, yeah, here we go. What is that? Oh, those are those shipping crates. Okay, yeah, this, this one. See? Look at this. This might be it. But I'm not... Okay, we've got to get that under there, I think. Let's try that. Okay, not not quite what I was looking for, but... Nope. Okay, we got to, we got to, got to pull it ahead just a wee bit. Let's try that. It sucks because you can't get out without the... Without starting the truck. Let's back it up some. Let's try that. Mm, that's not bad. How do we tell if this is full, though? And, and I don't think it's actually going into my trailer. Well, actually, you can tell if it's filling, filling in because... Yeah, nothing's going into it. So we gotta put that back. Now, I think we're just a little bit too far to the one side. All right, let's get a little bit uh, closer. Don't be shy. Get a little closer with there an extra drive. You gotta be a 90s kid to remember that. All right, let me see. In a very early 90s. Don't touch my door. 
Oh my god, would this trailer just co- Okay, you know what? The trailer's now caught on the pipe. And now I'm caught on the, the pipe. Okay, this is- this has gone- this has gone sideways very quickly. Okay, well, let's try that. Let's see where we're at now. Well, actually, this isn't too bad if I could get- oh no, it is still horrible. Okay, well, let's just zip around here. We'll come back through it a little bit. It's not as easy to line up as it looks. Like, I could go with the outside view, but I don't think that's going to make a whole heck of a lot of difference. I want to get close without getting too close. How's that? Okay, this is a problem, this... Not having a parking brake business. Okay, is this is this a little better? Is that filling up now? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, cool. How do I tell when it's full? Or is it what like the buckets that gets filled instantly? Well, we'll let it run for a moment. I wish there was some visual indicator. Is there a level on here or something? Like a sight glass or... No, I don't see it. Well, I'm going to say that's probably good. Oh, well, he makes a different noise. That's interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, let's call it a day. All right, so perfect. So how do we get out of Mio? Where are we? So can we go straight through maybe? Oh, someone rang my doorbell. <laughs> I don't care. Hopefully Books gets it before there's too much problems. Okay, so I paused the game for a minute. Books ordered pizza that I can't have. So we don't like Books anymore. She's a jerk. Now... Let's see if we can figure out where this comes out. Because I don't know I'm hiccuping now. Of course it's happening. You know, I spent the first like two years making videos and not once did my dogs bark. And in the last like six months, ooh, here we go, where are we? Where, where is this? Where is this on the map? <gasps> okay, I know where this is, we're fine. I know exactly where this is. This is down by the, the cargo bin place. The cargo bin where I found the V8. It should be right around the corner here. Right? No, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, no, that's the other road over, is it? Nope, it is the cargo place. All right, so now we know how to get to that in case we need it again. Now we just got to get back to the tobacco farm, which is a bajillion miles away. So we're going to stop and get fuel again because the fuel truck is the most inefficient thing. I have ever, ooh, ever driven. It definitely feels much heavier, the truck, uh, now that I've got all this fuel on board, or this water on board. I wonder if you could fill with fuel. That'd be great. All right. Now, I don't mean to go to the, the, the fuel place 15 times an episode, but, you know. Okay, I, I left it open. I left it open. Look at this. I keep leaving it open. This is fine. It doesn't leak out anyway, so you're fine there. There we go. I do need a drink, but I can drink from the, the water over the... Oh, okay, must be full. Okay, that's good. Close that up this time. Let's get a drink from the tap, which is the cheapest way to get water or drinks. Okay, and then we'll turn that off because we don't waste water. And then, hey, Shathid, what's going on, baby? Um, oh, oh, something's going on up there. And um, I'm going to pay for this. There we go. Now I'm not hungry anymore. Now we can go to hopefully find our way back to the tobacco farm. Okay, let me see. So back to the tobacco farm we go. And then I might just leave the trailer there. Like, I'm assuming you just use this to water it, right? So, like, you just walk around the field and spray them or something, but I guess we'll find out. Now, there would be a cool thing to be able to buy a pump. That you could pump out of the river or something. Now, this is going to be a problem because the way through here was like straight up. And I'm not sure my truck has that. Look, there's three horn buttons. I never noticed that. 
I drove an old Ford Taurus that had horn buttons on the steering wheel like that. I kind of liked it. I kind of liked it better than the uh, than the push the center of the, the, the horn thing. Okay, so I think it was this way, but I think it was to the... Yeah, it was up this. This is where I came down. So let's uh, see what happens when we hit it hard. Ugh. Okay, yep, yeah, are this is the telephone poles. All right. Or the electrical poles. Okay, well, it's going to take us a while to get there because I'm not exactly entirely sure where we're going just yet. And it's a lot, and you know what? This is a lot of effort to grow to grow some tobacco. Like, jeez and crackers, you can just go buy your own smokes, man. Jeez. And you got to dry it, like, you got to dry tobacco. Oh, oh jeez, is, is it down here? Please tell me it's down there. Okay. We got to cross the river, I know that much. Doing this with a trailer on is, is a little bit disconcerting. I'm afraid the trailer's going to spin around. Have you ever played SnowRunner? <laughs> you know? Oh. Boy, I like SnowRunner. They're adding tractors to SnowRunner, eh? That's that's really cool. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Just break it. You're a son of a bitch. Mm, you like that, don't you? Okay, here we go. Ugh. Ow. I'm, like, sideways. What the hell? Could we not be sideways anymore? That would be, that would be grand. Is it, is it up here we gotta go? I don't remember. It sure feels like it's somewhere like this way. <laughs> At least it's a sunny day. Ugh. Is this even right? I have no idea. All right, let me see. Okay, we're going around the corner here. Or a corner. Ugh. I feel like I am not anywhere near... Oh, wait a minute. I might be. I might be. I could check the map, but that requires forward thinking. That is not something I possess. I'm more of an in-the-moment kind of guy. <laughs> From this moment. Okay, let me see. So, this I remember because I came in here and thought, Oh, is this the... Um... Ugh. The mining area. Okay, let's try over there. That looks like there's a path that goes that way. Okay, let's go up there. We'll find this. See where this goes. It is a lot of distance to cover. Ugh. Okay, I think we're getting there. Maybe? I don't know. Is this it? Oh, it is! Okay, perfect. Let's get, uh, pull her up in here between the rows. Excellent. Oh. Okay, we good? We good. Okay, here we go. Let's, uh, bust this up. And then, uh... Oh, it, it, you literally have to hydrate each one. Okay. Oh, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> this is gonna be a long process. And how much water could there possibly be in this thing? Well, you can only go to 102%, so I guess that's not the worst. There's also no sound for the water, which is inherently a bit creepy. Here, I'll make a sound effect for you. Hey. I'm watering here. Give me this. You're 102% watered. Where are you? There we go. You can only get so far from it, so you're going to have to, like, drive around it. There we go. That's 102. Can we get that one from here? Ugh. There we are. Ugh. So which one didn't we get yet? Is it? Oh, there. It must be that one. Okay, so we'll pull it ahead a little bit. And we should be able to get the other side while we're here, I think. Um, out, please. Okay, let me see. This is definitely going to be a... Uh, oh, there we are. That one's 101. Oh, there we go. And there's that. And this. This seems like a lot of time and effort. Will it be worth it? No one knows. And I'm wondering if you can even water the whole crop with one round of watering. 
Because how much water does that stupid thing hold? And will it keep growing until it gets down to zero hydration? Can you like, or is it, uh, does it use it up all like right away? It's a good question. These are questions I have. Excellent. This is like watering in Momba Zoo, except even worse. <laughs> you know what? I always asked for a hose in that game. And now I'm thinking if it was like this, I would lose my mind. Okay, that's good. I think the hose needs to be a bit longer myself, but, you know, what do I know? Okay, that's good. Oh. Oh. So we got to back up for the fourth, the, the remaining four on that side. Dude, back. Start the damn truck. That should be good. Okay, let me hop out here for a second. Grab you. Okay. Are you hydrated? No, you're not hydrated. What about the one up front here? Is this one hydrated? I'm assuming this one's hydrated. Hydrated. There's no way to turn it off either in between. Like, it just keeps on rolling. There we go. Perfect. And this one. And we just got one more row to do. Oop. Okay, put this back. Turn that off for a second. And then we'll just go to the other row. Come on. Jesus. Sometimes this thing will just not start. Okay. Oh, look. There's junk right there. <laughs> Excellent. But I'm not going to take it home because I think I'm going to use the... Uh, the uh, zip home option with the phone because I'm awfully far away and I might just leave the trailer here, obviously. Oh, we got to turn it on. Isn't I close enough to get this? There we go. On a two. And 102. Why doesn't it hydrate from the rain? It rains enough. 102. Okay. And 102. 102. 102. Oh, no. So we got to pull ahead at least to this plant. All right. Perfect. Come on, baby. Ugh. Hopefully that'll be close enough because I don't want to feel, I don't really move in the truck that much anymore. Are you, are you watered at least? You're 102% watered. You're 102% watered. There we go. There's no way to tell, actually, if it's watered or not. Or is, am I missing something here? Other than, the, obviously, the percentage. But I don't feel like the, it doesn't change color of the soil or anything. Okay, this one's taking longer for some reason. Okay, there's another one. And what? Oh, I ran out of water! Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That means I'm going to have to... Okay, you know what? But did any of these start... Oh, they're growing. They're growing. All right. Okay, so that, that works. Um, I'm going to leave this here, I think, and just go home because I need to fill it up. Here, I'm going to open this up. Maybe the rain will fill it. <laughs> I know that's not true. Okay, so this I'll also leave beer here once I have one for when I'm working here. That works out. All right, let's, um, let's call up our buddy here. Transport me and my truck home. Bam. Are we home? We're home. All right, let's close the door. Perfect. 50 bucks for that. No, thank you. Um, All right. And now we can go back, get the trailer in the next episode. I just don't have time to. I'm already friggin' 51 minutes into this episode here. So, uh, yeah, I think this is good. Uh, I think we did a good job. I think this is interesting that we got the tobacco all set up. Well, at least most of it. We need more water. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe tell your friends to subscribe. Maybe get your dog to subscribe. Maybe get your horse to subscribe. Maybe get your bigger water container to subscribe. If you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat! I need a new mirror because I'm a beautiful man. Seriously. I'm practically an Adonis. Out! Out!